Welcome back to devlog number 15. So if you remember in the last video I didn't show you the final result of the animated zombie man because I said that I had messed things up a bit and I would fix them and then show you in the next video. Well guess what I'm not showing you in this video either because it's a bit too messed up and I haven't fixed it yet so I will show you that later. Now I could spend this week trying to fix the zombie man but uh, to be honest, we have been working on the zombie man for quite a lot of episodes and I'm getting kind of tired of him. I'm even having nightmares about him. So I'm let's just kick that zombie man out of here and let's focus on the imp for now. And as far as the imp goes, you know that we created a, a model for him in episode 13, I think. And uh, it looked pretty good. But uh, now it's time that we added materials. And would you look at that? I'll be pretty honest with you, it looks really good actually and I'm pretty proud of it. I don't think I need any changes to it, so if you have some suggestions, give them in the comment section down below. But uh, I think that this imp is pretty good and now we can get to animating him. Yes, you heard me right, we are going to actually animate him first. And now you might be saying that uh, why, because I usually do not do animation, but uh, I'm actually getting quite comfortable with animation now and I think that I can do it right now. And also I have got a bunch of really cool animation ideas for this robot. Now the problem is that this robot consists of a bunch of separate uh, meshes. So you know uh, all of those meshes are kind of joined in one, but they are unlinked. So uh, what we can do is actually use manual ways so that for example the arm will be attached to one bone and we will manually weight paint the whole arm and this way we can actually animate it perfectly while having only a single mesh which can work perfectly in unit. Anyways the root bone is working perfectly as you can see. As you can see it's working now. Well, I quickly go off the other bones working as well and as you can see this robot is paused right now and it is with the help of bones. So the bones are working. Now we can get to the animation. And this is the great idle animation. I think it looks pretty good. And the next animation is obviously the run animation which wasn't quite difficult this time and this is what it looks like. I also put together this missile state animation for it. Now the two most important animations are left which are the pain animation and uh, the death animation. I am going to implement the pain animation right now but we will make the death animation later because why not? I mean I can do whatever I like. Anyways this is the pain animation. So now that we have got our uh, imp model pretty much done and also animated, we can put him in the game. And I did just that and he looks pretty cool, but the problem is obvious that he doesn't really do much. I mean, I haven't added the AI to him yet, so he's just kind of standing there and I can't kill him, he can't shoot me, he can do nothing, so yeah, that's bad. So to add that, I did a little bit of coding. Now after that everything was working fine and all but uh, there was only one problem. Actually uh, the robot could not do anything still because uh, he couldn't see the player. So we needed to add a way for him to see the player. And if you remember for the zombie man we essentially did a very bad system. We just used a large box which is not realistic at all. That's not how robots or humans so we should use a proper vision cone this time. So the way it will work is that we will basically check the, any, uh, check the angle between the enemy and the player and if that angle is within a certain field of view angle then well the player is seen if uh, he is not behind any obstacle. Moreover I'm not going to implement the you know that uh, distance check because well I don't know I don't think that mm, Doom had a distance check so I'm not going to add that if you think that Doom had a distance check let me know that in the comments but uh, well I'm not going to do it for now. 
anyway i quickly am um, implemented all of that and it works uh, perfectly but uh, the paint state is kind of not working right now so you know the animation is not playing correctly so i am uh, leaving that for later uh, for now here is what the result looks like so when the game starts you can see that we are in normal uh, idle state uh, our robot is currently just doing the idle animation and nothing else but if i let's say go in front of him then well he goes into the chase state and starts chasing meal in the way that i have programmed him to which is totally like the original doom and then you can see he also tries to shoot me even though he cannot emit fireballs at this point but uh, well the animation is working and uh, sometimes as you can see the uh, pain animation is not working but uh, he goes into the death state which currently does not have an animation of course now before i end this video i have a little announcement to make i am shutting down the discord server because well nobody is joining it and i am not uploading anything on it so it's pretty much inactive so i'm going to uh, shut down the server for now but uh, we will continue it later at some point maybe i don't know i cannot say anything about that but uh, uh, well uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments